Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today, we are going to answer a question on our channel. And that question, my darlings, is simply this. What can two bowls and a piece of dry foam make? Stay tuned. For this project, you will need two of these crystal cut glass bowls, one dry foam brick, you will need a few strands of crystal garlands, any type of your choosing, you will need your flowers, any type, any color of your choosing, you will also need some non-skid cabinet liners, and of course you will need your handy dandy tools. Let's get crafting. So the first thing we're going to do is glue our two bowls together. Now since we're working with glass on glass, we are going to be using a two-part epoxy to get this done. And if you tuned in on Wednesday, we also use a two-part epoxy, but for the craft that we created on Wednesday, we did not use a lot of it. For this project today, and because we're working with the materials that we are, we are going to go in with copious amounts of that two-part epoxy because the bottom of these glass bowls are riveted with little nooks and crannies in which we need that epoxy to sit to form a nice tight seal and so once you have placed your epoxy on the bottom of one bowl you are going to take your second bowl and place it atop of it making sure to find your placement that is the ridge upon which you place your epoxy and once you have found that placement you can apply just a little bit of pressure to make sure that we squeeze out any air bubbles and then you will set this aside to dry for a few moments so now that our bowls have been set together, it is now time to start to build up our project. And the next step that we are going to take is to use some of this non-skid cabinet liner to place within the mouth of our bowls. Now I'm simply just trying to show you that this is a scrap that I have had before and I simply cut off another piece from it. Um, but now that I have gotten the piece or the size that I need, of course, if you are doing this, you can make yours longer, shorter, wider, or thinner if you so choose. We are simply going to take this cabinet liner and we are going to glue it down to our bowl using our hot glue gun. To do this, just place a few streams of that hot glue into the lip of that bowl apply some pressure and allow that cabinet liner to sit for a few moments so that that glue can dry after you have placed your cabinet liner you're going to now take your flowers flowers that have been stripped of their stems all the way down to the bud and you're going to take your hot glue and place copious amounts of hot glue on the bottom of those flowers to set them in place your first flower is going to be up against the bottom of that bowl and then your other flowers based on the arrangement that you would like to make can be placed anywhere else on your cabinet liner so i'm just going to continue this process laying my flowers placing my hot glue all the way up against the bud of those roses and placing them where I need them to sit, being sure to alternate colors, maybe add some greenery, choose some different flowers, just so we can get an eclectic mix of foliage on this piece. So I'm going to continue making my arrangement on this side. I am then off camera going to place my cabinet liner on the other side and make my floral arrangement over there as well. So here we have our two bowls 
with our floral arrangements cascading out on either side. What we are going to do now is take our styrofoam brick and we are going to embellish it in preparation to receive our bowls. Now, of course, with everything that we do on this channel that has styrofoam in it, I went ahead off camera and I placed a piece of felt on the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is use a piece of ribbon to go around the sides of that foam. Initially, I wanted to outfit this entire piece with flowers, but I realized had I done that, you would not have been able to see the structure of the crystal pieces and what we had done with the cascading flowers and so to place this ribbon down all I am going to do is apply some hot glue streams of it and I'm going to pat my ribbon down into the hot glue waiting a few seconds to make sure that that hot glue engages with the ribbon I'm going to continue this process in sections making sure not to use too much hot glue because depending on the type of ribbon that you use you do not want that hot glue to seep through your ribbon leaving stains that will ultimately ruin your centerpiece and so I am going to continue placing my ribbon on my foam off camera and then I'll be back to tell you what's next so here is our styrofoam that we have completely surrounded in that brocade with that gold lining and what we're going to do now is apply our crystal garlands now I chose to use these instead of the typical crystal garlands the one that I showed you in the supply reel and I opted instead to use these because these crystals come with a beautiful iridescence to them that is going to pick up on the yellows and the pinks and the greens of my floral arrangements and I wanted to take advantage of that of course I will leave all of the items in the description box below and you will be able to choose between the regular crystal garlands or this garland that I'm using right here and so as you can see all I'm doing is taking my hot glue placing a bead down applying my crystal garland in that hot glue and then taking the hot glue gun and applying another measure of hot glue over the crystal garland to make sure that that crystal garland is going to be secured now all I'm doing here is measuring the crystal garland to make sure that it is going to be at the length that I need it I'm going for a graduated look moving into the inside so my longest garlands are going to be on the two outer edges the middle pieces of course middle length is going to be in the middle and my shortest garlands are going to frame the middle of that bowl so I'm going to continue this process on both sides of the bowl off camera so here is our centerpiece with our beautiful crystal garlands that I have placed both on one side of the other and of course with your floral cascade you can make your um, cabinet liner as wide as I mentioned before as thin as long or as short as you would like now to complete our project we are now going to take our beautiful crystal cascading flower centerpiece and we are going to place it atop of our floral sponge now to do this we are not going to need to do much to it simply because hot glue we know will suffice when we're working with sponge and secondly because we know unfortunately a permanent glue or even an epoxy will eat right through this foam so all I'm doing right now is just taking copious amounts of my hot glue placing it on either side where I know and have measured where those two bowls are going to sit I am applying some pressure 
adding some additional hot glue to make sure that those two bowls will set in place, making sure that my crystal garlands are centered and are hanging straight down. And once I have done that, it is simply, my darlings, a matter of covering up the top of that green foam with some additional flowers. So I'm going to continue to make the floral arrangement on top off camera. I'm going to clean this up of any glue fronts there are, and then I will stage it and come back to show you our finished project. Well, here you have it, my darlings. Look at what we were able to create with two dollar store bowls and a piece of sponge. Can you imagine? And like I say to you guys all the time, my darlings, the sky is the limit when we are creating our pieces. I will give you the template. I will show you the basic materials that you will need to use or can use. And then the sky is totally the limit and all of the additional options are up to you. I think, my darlings, I would have to say that we have nailed yet another project, the foundation of which will cost you only $3. <laughs> I think I would have to say that my favorite part of this project would be the way those two bowls face away from each other, giving you multiple options for using this on your event table. You could either use it facing head on or you could turn it to the side so that your guests on either side will have a lens view of this project. This is totally stunning, my darlings. <laughs> so if you have found any value in this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. To my Danny's darlings, I just would like to tell you as usual and as always, I thank you for your love, your questions, your comments, your feedback, but most of all, and most importantly, your encouragement. I have said this time and time again, and I will say it again. You guys just don't know how long and how far your words of encouragement go. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. To those of you, however, who may not yet be Danny's darlings, we would like to humbly ask you to consider joining our ever-growing community of DIYers as we learn from and craft with each other on a weekly basis. And if you so choose to subscribe to our channel today, also be sure to click the notification bell to ensure that you will be made aware whenever any of our videos have been published. Well, before I sign off and excuse my voice from this video, my darlings, I am going to leave you with the motto to our channel, which is simply this, why, buy, when you can DIY. And so my darlings, my loves, until next time, I say to you, please, please, please take care of yourselves for me. <clears throat> excuse me. Know that I love you all. <laughs> Bye now.